Santo Rio de Janeiro 2016. Vamos pro jogo! Pleasantries exchanged. Now it's time to exchange blows as they get ready to do battle on the sand for a place on the podium. It's Poland in red serving. The Netherlands in blue receiving this, the gold medal, the bronze medal match from the FIVB Beach Volleyball World Tour here in Rio. The first Grand Slam of the season and a simple side out for the Netherlands. The gold medal match will be coming up a little later. Both these teams missed out on that opportunity to play for gold. That's a great serve from Brower. Brower and Mearson were engaged in an epic battle last night as the rain poured, the lightning flashed and the thunder roared. And they were beaten by Pedro and Evandro. 2-1, 15-6 in the decider. And I have never seen such a consummate performance from Brazil as I did in that third set. They just said, this is our beach. We grew up here. This is how we play. And they took the Netherlands apart. I don't think I've ever seen such a performance from any team in the way that they played. And if they can recapture or rekindle that kind of form later on when they play for the gold, well, it's already theirs. That's an unforced error from Mewson. Sometimes though teams have that moment that in the zone everything works, everything they do comes off. And for a moment it was happening with the Netherlands. They came back, we had a huge rain delay yesterday in the last semi-final. And uh, about an hour or so all told of having to hang around to decide whether the game would continue. And the Netherlands came out, took the second set, they did have the lead. They saw it off but then were completely blown away in the decider not quite the same story for Poland they lost to uh, their compatriots in straight set 17-21 21-23 Cantor and Wozniak of Poland who came through qualifying so played two more games than anybody else and they found themselves in the final so these two teams now in the situation of winning means a bronze medal, losing means going off to Vitoria, which is the next stop with nothing. Other than, well, they don't get no medal, but they'll get some important qualification points. This is uh, a jam-packed season in the run-up to the Olympic Games, which will be back here in uh, a few months' time. Everybody scrambling for those all-important qualification points. The only two teams who are guaranteed a place at the Olympics at the moment are Brazil's Evandro, Pedro, Alisson and Bruno. They have already been selected by the CBV, the Confederation of Beach Volleyball here in Brazil. And um, for everyone else, it's about getting into the... Uh, top 22 and being the top 22 of only two teams in your country as well but even then from my understanding that's no guarantee you'll be going because it's up to the federations of those countries to decide which two teams if there are two sp two spots that have been qualified for by the teams that are playing it doesn't necessarily mean that those two teams will be going. The Federation could turn around and say, well, actually, we're going to send the third place team because we think they've got a better chance of meddling, even though you have qualified by earning the most points. That's got to be a tough decision for somebody to make, isn't it, if that is the case at any point? That 
particularly so with the Continental Cup, which is uh, a tournament whereby teams can, or countries, I should say, can qualify through to the Olympics. And in the Continental Cup, you're changing partners. And uh, it's a different system. Oh, that's a nice block from Prudel to put down Mewson. So Poland open up a two-point lead. For such a big lad, he's got really good skills, hasn't he, Mewson? But he let himself down with that swing. At least that's what he'll be thinking. Although generally you say teams make a good block, that's fair enough. Just don't get beaten the same way again with the next play. Oh, that's a shame, that one coming off the net and bouncing out. It's almost like a trampoline effect when it hits this net that's being used on centre court. It's quite a heavy net. And you can see the spring, it just takes it out. Doesn't slow it down at all. So a couple of errors, and the Netherlands have called the timeout. Alexander Brauer is the uh, fifth highest point scorer so far. 115 points, eight per set for him. Marius Prudel is the third highest point scorer with 7.8%, 117 points so far. In fact, Robert Mewson's 13th, and uh, Gregor's Fuzilek is a ninth. In attack kills, Alexander Brau is number three with uh, 97. They will go up to uh, top, actually, because uh, Clemens Doppler of Austria is top with 107, and Eduard Rowlandson of France is second with 102. Both those players are out of the tournament. Nice block from Prudel. Waited, watched, and pounced. Wild swing from Mewson. Well, these two teams have played each other seven times previously. And it's uh, Brower and Mewson who lead that series 4-3. The last time they played uh, was uh, back in Long Beach last year. Brower and Mewson won that one 24-22, 21-15. Four of the seven encounters have gone to three sets. So we've got a challenge coming to see whether or not the player touched the net. Signaled by the referee touching his arm. Two challenges per team per set. You can challenge ball in, ball out, block touch, net touch. Did he scrape down the net with his hand? Indeed he did. Great challenge. That means uh, Poland keep their two challenges as they were successful. Mearson brings the hammer. That one gets flattened down into the sand. swing. Fugilek's not had much to do. He comes up with a nice one in between, inside the block and inside the defender. Threading the eye of a needle with that one. Brutal gets a touch, but it takes it away from Fugilek. 
moves into the power slot, but it just goes over the top of him. Look at the height that Miyusun gets. That is incredible. That net's eight, eight foot high. So the same height as a crossbar in soccer, and he was way over it, wasn't he? They all are, especially when you consider they're jumping off sand as well. Good lead by Vigilek, no touch at the net. No challenge coming either from the Netherlands. As it was uh, Prudel in it. No, he wasn't, was he? Well, it's all great so far for Poland. The technical timeout, seven point lead. Prudel with the serve. Well, even in trouble, the Netherlands get themselves out of it. Meersen firing off a salvo. And that one not coming back. So now Meersen with the serve. Cutting that one away from Mewson. So another good touch from Prudel. Vigilek couldn't chase it down, but they won't be worried by that. Look at that great platform from Mewson. Shoulders forward, slightly up, slightly forward. Hands together, nice big area to contact the ball with. Oh dear, uh, no chance at all for Vigilek with that one. Mewson way, way over the net. It's not about how high you get, it's how far across you can get. Look how far across he was. Cheeky little roll shot this time from Fijilek. And Poland looking good to take this first set, aren't they, with a six-point lead. Uh, the Netherlands not showing any signs of getting it back just yet.
Brower, who hasn't had much to do attacking-wise, is able to put that one very tidily over the block of Prudel. Good read from Brower. Good dig by Pizulek. And an excellent chase. Good rally, this one. Free ball for the Netherlands. Brower once again. And he finds the cross-court angle. Nice bit of action to entertain the fans. Bit of excitement into what had otherwise become a rather run-of-the-mill first set, hadn't it? Good finish from Brower cross-court. Alexander Brower with the serve, Poland having called a timeout after that uh, exhausting rally. Great swing, Pijulek just going block out, that's all he was looking for. Great work. It's too easy, wasn't it, from Mewson? He's up so high, you wonder why he ever gets blocked. Well, he can come up with those kind of shots. Another big block from the Netherlands, so Poland are being uh, given a message here, aren't they? As the Netherlands get back into this set. It's not over just yet. The ball's hit the sand, it won't count. Half volleys not allowed. Lovely set from Pijelek. Better angle, you can see that one actually bounced on the sand first. Another tight angle from Brower. Poland, though, need two side outs to take the set. by Fijilek and a rather rash play at the ball by Prudel gives the Netherlands the point. Yeah! 
Oh, big block from Nielsen. first set has got very interesting now hasn't it especially if this doesn't get put down well it does so Prudel finds the line it's now set point for Poland but momentum with the Netherlands and the Netherlands Save set point. What a swing to do it. But not at the second time of asking. The shooter cross courts. Great from Prudel. And the first set goes Poland's way, Away we go then with the second set. Netherlands with the serve. Oh, good chase. Oh, lovely start for the Netherlands. Great work from Brower. Seizing the opportunity right from the word go with a lovely pickup and a great finish to the line. The Netherlands have the opening point. A good touch from Mearson, who looked around expecting to see Brower on to the ball. Wasn't too pleased that he wasn't there. So, Netherlands making a bright start to the second set. Jalek fights back with a good cross-court swing.
So the game now going point for point. Debelin's looking to side out to have the lead. But a serve from Poland puts pay to that. First end change and Poland have slipped in front. That was well in, wasn't it? Oh, top block from Prudel. He denied Mewis in the line. Now, Mewis has been hitting cross court most of the match. A good little change up. Prudel, see how he takes that line away. And Mewis gets caught out. Vigilek in the right place, almost like he was caught in two minds whether to try and force it back over the net or make the dig. Might have just been the angle it came at him as well, which prompted the uh, unorthodox style of defence. Chase is on. Nice little pick from Vigilek. High ball hoisted into the clouds so that means Poland can get back and set up their serve or their block defense but to no avail because Mewson just hammers it cross court again despite the best efforts of Vigilek it's the Netherlands who take the point Oh, top block, bit of a spread block that time from Mewson. Wasn't too sure what uh, Priddle was going to do. Try to take away the line and cross court. Lovely block. And Priddle this time trying to avoid Mewison, can't find the court.
Well, the Netherlands beginning to get a grip on this set now, aren't they? Two in front. Applying pressure from serve and from block. Now, did that touch anybody? Yes, it just caught Musen. Good leave. Another great angle. It's amazing, isn't it, that the uh, teams all go after Musen. He's two metres and seven. He's one of the tallest players on tour outside of uh, Dalhauser and Evandro. He gets that high, he hits that angle, and they still go after him. And that's because he's less reliable than Alexander Brau. So it's that lesser of two evils that other teams think they'll have to just take those, those hits when they come. But knowing that they can get the odd point here and there from him and that can be the difference between winning and losing very good angle from Prudel and another good angle this time from Brower just a point away from the technical timeout the second set very evenly matched it's almost as if the Netherlands just needed that first set to get warmed up didn't they that's a poor serve though so we head into the technical with Poland just one behind So a steady side out off the back of the tight technical timeout to put Netherlands in front. Just that little cushion they have at the moment of having a point from serve, which does mean that they can be siding out to win this set if they can keep that uh, gap open to them and not allow Poland to score from their serve. And that was a frustrating one for Brower. It was right onto him. Oh, what a block that is from Prudel. And that's why they go after Miosin. Because even though he gets as high as he does, he still likes to bury the ball as steep as he can. And that means 
the blockers can get involved. Prudel gets involved, and he denies Mewson. Look at that. His head's up by his hand, but that's still... But he should be contacting that again above the height of the block, but he wasn't, was he? That's better. So it'll cut shot this time, but that block from Prudel means that Poland are back in this one, and we're back on scoring from side out. The Netherlands have been dragged back into this set. So it's going to be a point for the Netherlands. Vigilek caught mid-court. It's a good serve to spark off the point for the Netherlands and then a great block from Mearson to finish it off. not going to make it line block signaled by Mearson at the net. Oh, good pick up. Free ball for Poland. Feature leg against Mearson. Line block signaled again. Good up from Brower, but it's not going to come back. So Poland take the point. A double jazz, double pokey. Prudel, it's Poland who walk away with the point. Get the feeling this one's going to go right to the wire, don't you? Poland just biding their time at the moment. Oh, right down in front of Mewson, who didn't close the gap between himself and the net. He almost caught that one in his uh, elbows, didn't he? A rather nervy side out for Poland, no one's sure quite who's going to take that for uh, the Netherlands, and then Nielsen gets the job done by getting it through the fingers of Prudel. Poland, though, who do need to force the issue somewhat from the net, from the uh, serving line and from blocking. So line block signaled by Prudel. Looked like he wanted the ball to go down the middle. He's going after Mewson again. He comes up with a cross-court roll again. Netherlands back in that position of being able to side out to take the set.
Really fast arm from Fijilek, whipping through the ball. Nothing Bra could do about it. right onto that side and great swing from Brow once again he hasn't had much to do in that department but when called upon he's done it brilliantly that one not so brilliant so this is Poland's chance now if they want to uh, take this set they need to win this point to stop the Netherlands from being able to side out to take the set as you let going for it well left by the Netherlands set point now then for the team in blue this would be a bonus if they could get it done from this serve Mearson with the ball not to be which it gets the side out still set point for the Netherlands and this is their best chance to wrap it up and send us into a decider oh it's two errors in a row from Poland and as a result of that Netherlands take the second set 21-19 so it's a race to 15 now to see who'll take bronze Confirmation of the scores for you. And now it's all about who can hold their nerve in the race to 15. Here are the stats. Five errors each, two blocks each. Hardly anything in it, is it? Now, if you want to get involved on Twitter, hashtag FIBB. See what's happening. See what people are saying. Have your say. Sing like a lark. go with the deciding set the Netherlands with the serve brow with the ball this for uh, a place on the podium and that's a terrible set from Fijilek the referee saying so by penalizing him and calling him up for a double touch Top swing from Prudel. Oh, good serve from Mewson. Oh, 
So Marius Prudel puts that one away, but the Netherlands have already made their move now, haven't they, as they turn around 3-2 up. And then they'd be looking to side out to go 4-2 up. Solid siding out from the Netherlands. Oh, good news from Prudel. He was uh, from Vigilag. He was pushed tight to the net by Prudel. Mewison has a little wry smile to himself. Probably knows he should have done better. Block out from Brower. Both teams now into a run of siding out. That just keeps the scoreboard moving along in the Netherlands' favour. Give up too much to his left, did Brower. That's a good dig from Fijelek. This could get them back in the game. It does get them back in the game. Both teams now have scored a point from serve. Poland cancelling out the Netherlands' earlier point with this play from Fijelek. Good joust, who did touch last? Netherlands or Poland? Touch the Netherlands, so maybe a challenge, maybe not. Question is, who did it come off last? It definitely is. It did come off of uh, Mewson, didn't it? It's played into Mewson. Mewson still touching it there, so it's off him and out. Good call by the ref. Oh, big swing from Brower. That's a top set as well by Mewson. He was under pressure, wasn't he? It wasn't the best of passes from Brower as it was going to the net, but that's a top set and then a great finish.
slightly wild swing from Brower. Chance here for Poland. A little tight to the net. Priddle couldn't finish it off. Oh, he does now, though. What a block that is against Brower, who for the first time decides to go line. And he is denied with a great block by Priddle. Timeout called by the Netherlands. Now Poland have just edged in front. And if it was back to old school, it would just be 2-1 in terms of points scored from serve. Hard to imagine now that uh, it was ever only score from the serve. Fidelek with the serve. No, oh, Belter. Top swing from Alexander Brower, made even more spectacular by the fact there was no block for him, and he just said, "Yep, thank you very much." It comes back, showing you don't get two points for hitting it hard. It's just got to go down on the sand, in court, or off the block and out. Both teams then into double figures. First to five wins. Good pick up from Brower. He's making his move. Can he finish? Oh, yes, he can. Right through the block of Prudel. One nothing to the Netherlands in this race to five now, isn't it? Well, a good chase that was from Brower. And then he's up early, gives himself enough room and just gets it through the block of Prudel. Oh, well fought point for the Netherlands could it be a turning point line block signaled Mearson's going to try and stop Prudel on that line Oh, it's not coming back though, the ball too tight to the net, so the tough serve from Brower causing problems for the Netherlands who now open up a two-point lead. Oh, that was horrible, wasn't it? It came down almost under the net. Poland have called the timeout.
teams come back out once more. This could be the final time they come out onto court here at Copacabana Beach. A magnificent venue for beach volleyball. Brower with the serve. Oh dear. Well, the timeout did its job, didn't it, for Poland? They've stopped Netherlands in their tracks. But for how long? Good dig from Vigilek. Can he finish this one off? He'll get another chance. Will he know Prudel? Good up from Brower. Well, well watched by Prudel. Netherlands were out of position. He puts it back over, and it's all square again. Both teams now are scoring points from serve from their block defence. That was a great up from Brower. They were unlucky, the Netherlands, not to make anything of it or at least get their side out. But uh, Prudel had it covered. Brower again goes off the block and out. The change of tactics from Poland going after Brower more than they are after Mewson. Gillette gets the side out. One side out needed for the Netherlands to give them a match point. Well, they've done that in style, haven't they? Brilliant swing cross court from Brower. Now, does he go up, swing hard on this one? Or does he just make sure it goes in? Well, he swung hard on it. Prudel to keep Poland in it. Oh, he's done that as well. Off the block and out of play. 14 all, first to get two clear. We'll take the match. Yeah. Oh, that was a belter. Yeah. Match point number two for the Netherlands. Question, can Poland engineer one for themselves here? That's the trouble. It, it's got to be one on serve. That's the one thing that's going to be the case for both sides here, so they're going to have to work really hard. It does favour the side-out team each time. And at the moment, Poland are just siding out to stave off match point and stay in the game. That was really well done, wasn't it? Vigilek taking that one off the net. But there has to come a point where the team that keep knocking on the door by siding out to get match point, then going to serve, have to take a chance, go up and just batter the ball and see what happens. It's almost a serve to nothing, really, when you're in this position. Three ball chance here. Brower. And he's got it off the block and out. Match point number three for the Netherlands. Nothing that Poland can do right now to turn it back in their favour. And again, there's a, a huge amount of pressure here now on the Poland to side this out again. So Brower, you just want to say, well, why don't you stand middle and belt it down the middle and see how Poland deal with it. And he's belted it straight on to Vigilek, who's not had to move. But it's a little bit tight. Good up from Brow, but it won't come towards Mewson. Another opportunity goes begging. Yeah. 
The longer this goes on, the more maybe Poland will feel a bit comfortable. And then, of course, anything can happen. A point here for them, and they have match point. Oh, crikey. That was a hammered into Fizilek, who just got his body in the way of it. Look for an instant like it hits him in the face. I think it just, well, does it catch him on the shoulder? It does indeed, right off the shoulder. Match point number four. And that one is a really nice shot cross court from Fijelek. Well, it's a little bit of stalemate at the moment, isn't it? Oh, kept in play. And this time put down. And Priddle's not happy with the recovery from the Netherlands. But it was a pokey. And that was a belter. If anything, they might have wanted to have a, a moan about the set. Match point number five for the Netherlands. And a yellow card time delay given. Not that that makes any difference to anybody. Referee hadn't actually blown for serve. Brow was in the zone, wouldn't he? Just as well, because that one didn't find its way over. He gets another go. And that one doesn't find its mark either. Five match points squandered. We'll keep going until somebody does get too clear. There is no cap. That doesn't help matters for Poland. Pressure now on Fijelek. He's made an error to... Well, the Netherlands should go after him, shouldn't they, really? Match point number six. Well, they've stretched Prudel. And it's an unforced error. Prudel misses on the sideline, and the Netherlands take bronze in Rio. Copa Cabana Beach has been kind to the Dutchies as they take a bronze medal at this Rio Grand Slam. A podium finish for Brouwer and Meersen. Fourth place only.